Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Firesat Chat on Digital Accessibility in Brazil. And I'm joined today by Sid, the CEO of Icom Libras, all the way from Brazil. Hi, Sid. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Good I'm morning. Okay. Good morning for me. It's 10 o'clock here now. Good morning to you. <laughs> so, Sid, can you please introduce yourself? Tell us more about Icom Libras. Sure. Well, my name is Sid Porquato. I'm 59 years old. Uh, I'm a lawyer, uh, but have worked with technology uh, all my life. Uh, I, I broke my neck. There, there's a little bit of noise. Uh, I mean, it's, oh, now no, it's better. Uh, but, well, I, I broke my neck in 2007 at a WSA event. You know WSA, World, the World Summit Awards? Mm -hmm. They are partners of yours as well. So I was in a, in a WSA event in Croatia. Uh, I was part of the grand jury. And in the last day, I went for, for a dive, uh, made a mistake, calculated uh, badly the, the, you know, the premises, and I, I uh, you know, I dived and broke my neck. Mm. Uh, so this uh, changed my life considerably. I mean, I was, uh, and then I, I became engaged. I was, uh, as I said, I uh, worked technology most of my life, and and then after that, after 2007, I, I, you know, I engaged in, in, I became a militant of the of the disability movement in Brazil. Uh, I worked for for the government for 12 years, eight years in the state uh, secretariat for, for the rights of persons with disabilities in Sao Paulo. And then four years uh, for the, uh, I was secretary for persons with disabilities in the city of Sao Paulo. And I left two, two years ago and became the CEO of Econ uh, Libres. Libres is this, uh, you know, is a short for um, Brazilian Sign Language. Mm -hmm. uh, so ECOM is a platform uh, to that fosters communication uh, with the deaf community. Uh, so uh, to to make a long story short, we deliver uh, uh, sign language interpreters by uh, video calls. So we don't. Uh, you know, for banks and, and all sorts of, uh, of different uh, activities uh, for companies. Instead of having the, the, the interpreter there, essentially we, we, you know, we, we, we deliver the interpreter via video call. So uh, it's being very much used, you know, as I said, in banks and, and, and shops and and whatnot in, in the government. We have clients all over Brazil. Incredible. And what can you tell us about research developments in digital accessibility in Brazil? Well, we the, that's a good question. We, we're in a very, uh, very good moment in terms of uh, the development of digital accessibility in Brazil. Uh, as we know, you know, Accessibility is a problem all over the world. Uh, around less than two percent of websites, or websites all over the world are, are fully accessible and digitally accessible. So this is this is really bad news for persons with disabilities, especially for the blind and for the deaf. Uh, so uh, you know, I've been championing for. Uh, digital accessibility in Brazil, you know, in the last for the last 15 years, and uh, we began to see some uh, very interesting uh, movements. Uh, now, you know, from one year ago to to now. So, uh, what's happening? For example, we we created uh, just in the end of last year uh, the first. Uh, Brazilian uh, norm standard on uh, digital accessibility for apps. 
for you know for applications mm -hmm. for apps. Mm -hmm. And now we're beginning to develop the first norm or the standards, Brazilian standards, uh, on digital accessibility for websites. And why is this important? And why is this a good moment? Because uh, if we don't have the standards, if we don't have the Brazilian standards, we can't have the laws that uh, you know uh, oblige people to uh, to comply with the, the, with digital accessibility. So you know uh, by by achieving that, you know the, the developing of those norms, we gave a, a, a giant step towards uh, you know uh, having a better environment, uh, especially concerning uh, the possibility of, uh, of um, uh, enforcing, enforcing digital accessibility uh, to companies and governments. So if we don't have the standards, if we don't have the law that you know, uh, says that that standard is the official standard for Brazil, uh, we can't enforce uh, digital accessibility. So now having it, we, as I said, we, we gave a, a giant step towards, uh, you know, uh, better addressing uh, the, the question. And who are the different players in this field? Well, uh, in terms of digital accessibility, I mean, uh, Econ, uh, 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 as for itself, it's the main, it's the, 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 the main uh, enterprise, the main organization dealing with uh, sign language uh, in Brazil. Uh, but regarding digital accessibility in general, I mean, uh, different players play uh, different roles. So uh, you know, uh, the role of the companies uh, 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 is very important. You know, governments uh, also have a very important uh, task in, in this area. For example, when I was uh, secretary for persons with disabilities in the city of Sao Paulo, uh, we managed to to have all the over 60 uh, websites of the, the, of the city, uh, you know, city hall and secretariats and stuff, all of them fully uh, accessible. Uh, so that, that, that was, uh, so the government has a very important role in this process. Uh, so I, I, I gave a good example at the time. I said we were the, the, the most successful city, that most, uh, did, uh, the most successful uh, or digital successful city in the world, maybe I was exaggerating a little bit, but uh, <laughs> but it was uh, it was a major task. You know, over 60 sites, and all of them are fully accessible. That was a great uh, you know victory for for persons with uh, disabilities, uh, persons with disabilities in the city of São Paulo. Has that influenced other cities across Brazil? Do you see any other movement? I I hope so, but I mean. Uh, the, the digital accessibility is uh, very little known uh, and, and actually very little uh, talked about in Brazil. It's not, it's not really in the agenda. Uh, so that uh, our role, my role, for example, as a militant of the cause and, and as CEO of a company, uh, of an enterprise that deals with it, uh, is to, you know, to be more vocal to talk more about it, to be in the press, to be in events, uh, you know, championing uh, digital accessibility and trying to conquer or to, or to influence hearts and souls, right? And, uh, it's a, uh, and, and so it's, uh, it's a major task still. Uh, many people, including people that deal with, uh, with, with uh, technology, uh, and lawyers, you know, people that that, that in the in the field of law, uh, you know, very little uh, knowledge about uh, digital accessibility here in Brazil. So, I mean, our major task now is to to make it uh, 
to make it more uh, well known and and to give it value uh, to have uh, people um, you know, uh, considering it's uh, an important thing. So uh, nowadays it's, it's still not the case. Uh, and even in the many times, even persons with disabilities, they are directly affected by, uh, by, the, by the lack of digital accessibility. A lot of them don't even know what it is. Uh, so, I mean, uh, information, I think, is our main problem these days. It's, it's all about creating awareness on all levels with all stakeholders. It's always a, a struggle, a challenge. Um, but what can you tell us a bit about the opportunities? You, you put it, Sorry. You put it in great words. No, no, you, yeah. <laughs> you explain it a lot better than me, Sharon. But by the way, Sharon, uh, are, you, are you Austrian or are you... Something? No, I'm actually Israeli. I'm working with the Zero Project. Oh, you're Israeli? I am, yes. Oh, great. And... <laughs> And and you and you're living in Austria now? No, I live in Israel. Or I came in just for the conference. Uh, yeah, to uh, work great. on the conference. And, Sid, and we have we have just well? three more minutes, and I just want to ask you if maybe you can say a few words yeah. about opportunities that you see. Hmm. I, I uh, this is one of my main uh, you know interests in the Zero Project is to, uh, to get to know uh, you know applications and technologies and and uh, startups in other countries uh, that deal dealing with uh, digital accessibility in general, uh, digital accessibility more specifically. Uh, but I, I would like to, to represent uh, such uh, you know uh, initiatives, international initiatives in Brazil. So th there's room. I mean, we're as I said, we're in a good moment. We're growing, growing our awareness about. Uh, digital accessibility. Now, I mean, it's the moment to begin offering the market uh, different, uh, you know, resources, different applications, uh, different ideas. Even so, uh, you know, if anyone who's uh, listening to me now uh, has, uh, uh, you know, an application or is the owner of a startup or works for a startup that deals with accessibility in general, please, you know, contact me because um, I'm very interested in, uh, in searching for, for that, selecting, you know, uh, what, what can be, you know, uh, useful in Brazil, and then, uh, you know, represent such companies, such applications, and such initiatives here in our world. So definitely, I think the Zero Project Conference is a great place to network and find other stakeholders and partners to partner with you and to learn from and to share. So Sid, thank you very, very much for joining us today. Um, and we look forward to continuing the partnership. So Pete, I, I wasn't able to be there personally uh, because I guess, you know, we're a great event. I'm, I'm uh, here, over 1,000 people yes. uh, in Vienna. So, I mean, great. I, I, uh, I, and I, I miss, I, mean, I, I was very active in the wishes process in 2003 and 2005. And then due to my breaking my neck and stuff, I got a little, uh, didn't, uh, didn't interact with, uh, I mean, internationally a lot in the last uh, years. But uh, I'm really happy to be here. And I want to thank you very much, Sharon, for all the, all your supports during this uh, this prep, with uh, pleasure. You know, and uh, you know, hope to be able to interact with you uh, in the future. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye, bye everybody. Bye bye.